Hey, this is here from hexel.com. Today we have uh, some amazing stuff. How do you like uh, GUI animations? I'm really excited about that and uh, I've been looking for ways to how to implement that and uh, I found three ways for currently. The first one is uh, bitmap mesh transforming. It's uh, pretty advanced and uh, complicated. Basically for for any view you can apply the mesh and animate the bitmap of it, which makes it uh, really customizable. The second one is uh, canvas uh, path animations, which is uh, easier so that uh, you just uh, need to learn the different path methods, like curves and uh, lines and all the stuff, but it's still quite complicated. And the third one is the easiest, which I found, which we're gonna use today. That's the vector drawable animations. And in here, the only thing you need to learn is uh, SVG commands, like move to there, move to position, draw line, draw curve, and that's it. You just create XML files, and the Android uh, does the rest of the stuff for you. If you've done uh, animated vector drawable path uh, animations before, then that's great. You can pick it up very quick. It's really easy to do. The GUI stuff is really simple to implement with the vectors. And uh, that's what we got today. That's like a fab which uh, just opens uh, one more feature here. We can have like m more of those. Let's see how we do how we do that. I have a uh, animated vector drawable. So it's uh, quite complicated, but uh, let's see what's the key animation in here, which is uh, really simple. That's just the arc animation. So that's uh, the circle shape which is uh, made by two arcs and just by animating the y radius in here this one from 10 to 16 we squeeze the circle like this and there is like two circles squeezed coming from one place the small one is coming back to its uh, base state and this looks like like the GUI stuff. Let's see the arcs documentation here. See it has uh, seven arguments. <coughs> we just animate the second one. That's it. We'll leave the rest. And uh, that's the core animation in here. Of course there is translation. Fading in the icon just to make it better cooler and scaling up the small one a little bit and uh, yeah it's really simple to do you can get the feeling of uh, GUI, GUI animations the only uh, thing remaining here is uh, click listener as uh, because currently I have uh, just one view so if I stick with one view then I will have to handle the, the event coordinates and I think it's easier to create distinct views for small fabs for that purpose. Also shadow shadows missing and foreground the foreground ripple. Yeah and uh, that's it. Uh, go ahead and download the repository if you want to try it yourself. And uh, in the features there is going to be improvement on this uh, one with the AVD to make the shadows and the stuff, the rest uh, click listeners and uh, after that I'm gonna implement this thing with the canvas the after that we're gonna take a look at the bitmap mesh more advanced stuff just wanted to start with a very simple one and uh, 
Yeah. Thanks for watching.